Can your kids do sauna? What happens to kiddos under that heat, heat exposure? When we're discussing children, we wanna be specific about what the research says. So there was a study done on 47 infants. These infants were ages three months to 14 months. They underwent a sauna bath lasting for three minutes. However, prior to the sauna, they were in a swimming pool for 15 minutes. That being said, the researchers noted that rectal temperatures dropped after sauna usage by about 0.2 degrees Celsius, uh, which is about uh, 0.36 degrees Fahrenheit. They said this could be because of the redistribution of that cold peripheral blood into the core of the body from the swimming. The blood pressure decreased after swimming and then rose again after sauna. So they noticed that these young infants, when exposed to a three minute session, were able to cope to those acute circulatory changes imposed by this short heat stress. All the infants tolerated this short heat exposure in the sauna without side effects. So there was also another study done on children and adolescents. Now they found that these children, which were the, between the ages of about one and 10 years old, they were known to have a increase in heart rate and an increase in rectal temperature. Now these sessions were as long as 10 minutes. Now they noticed that all these children under 10 years old had a decrease in blood pressure. And in children less than five years old, they didn't have an increase in cardiac output, which means they had a decrease in stroke volume with their elevated heart. So in children under five, their cardiac output did not change with the added heat stress. That means that these changes puts a great demand on a child's circulatory system at a certain time frame. Now in Finland, sauna bathing, bathing takes place in connection to physical activity, uh, sporting club activities for those children over the age of seven years old. Finnish children are introduced to sauna bathing in early infancy. The key word in that whole phrase is introduced. So I took this as being a short exposure, such as a two to five minute session. So although exposure to raised temperatures normally encountered in a sauna causes that thermal regulatory imbalance in children, there are really no established guidelines for the safe use of saunas by infants and children. Finnish children are rarely allowed in a sauna alone before the age of seven years old. So to avoid any side effects, particularly with small children, they should be supervised carefully during a sauna bath and they must be kept short. Please be safe.